In this video, we are going to discuss about Dirichlet conditions for the existence of Fourier series. Up to now, we discussed that how we can represent some periodic signals by using Fourier series representation. Fourier series representation is nothing but representing any signal or approximating any signal with a set of complex exponentials. How we can represent any signals with set of complex exponentials or Fourier series representation we already discussed in the last classes. Now before getting into the uh, representation of Fourier series for a periodic signal we need to check some conditions. So, you, you can't waste your time just by uh, trying for uh, uh, trying for representing any signal in Fourier series. You need to check these three properties after satisfied by the signal. So, after uh, satisfying these three properties for a signal, you can go for Fourier series representation. Otherwise, for example, a signal is not valid for these properties for these three conditions. A signal is violating these three conditions, any one of these three conditions, then if you um, mistakenly take in Fourier series representation without uh, observing these conditions. So, there you cannot uh, represent that Fourier series, you cannot get the quotient for approximation. So, that is why before representing Fourier series, so whatever signal you want to represent in Fourier series for that signal you need to check these three conditions. So, uh, that is why these three conditions are called as Dirichlet conditions. So, these conditions are used to search the existence of Fourier series, Fourier transform and Laplace transform. This is this can be these conditions can be applicable to all transforms and Fourier series. If you want to take any transform or series representation the signal must satisfy these conditions. So, now you can see the conditions for existence of Fourier series or Dirichlet conditions they will ask like this also. So, they can give directly like this also what are the conditions for existence of Fourier series or transform or Laplace transform. So, in options you need to select Dirichlet conditions. So, the scientist name is Dirichlet who found these conditions to uh, satisfy for the signal. So, here the first condition very important condition is the function should be absolutely integrable, the function or signal. So, whatever the signal that you want to represent in Fourier series or if you want to consider uh, Fourier or Laplace transform that must be absolute integrable. That means, if you consider integration for that signal you need to get a finite value not infinite value. That means, if you got a uh, infinite value for integration of that signal then you can say that signal is ob absolutely integrable. And second condition is, so there must be finite number of maxima and minima in the function. For example, if you consider any signal f of t that is like this. So, if you consider any signal like this, so this is signal you are having. So, here the minima is 0, minima and maxima is extreme and minimum values of a signal. So, here if you observe this signal, so here this is a continuous signal, you can represent, you can represent Fourier series, you may represent Fourier series. So, here if you observe, you are having maxima and minima as 0 and practically, so generally you will consider the definition of this signal like this. But practically for example, the signal is like this. So, here if you observe how many number of maximas are there, for example, this is 1 volt and this is 1 volt. So, every peak is of 1 volt, only this peak exceeded uh, 1. That means, for example, this is having 1.5 like that, but minimum is 0. Whatever it may be, the number of maximas and minimas are 3 only. That is, so 1 is 1 amplitude, 0 is 1, minima is 1, maximas we are having 2, that is also practically. So, 
if you have minimum number of or finite number of maxima and minima then you can give perfect definition for that signal if you can give perfect definition for that signal then you can integrate or you can analyze that signal you can represent that signal first of all why because if you are having a standard for that signal you can represent with the complex exponentials or any other signal for initial at initial itself if you are not having uh, a continuity or a standard for a signal if you are having infinite number of maxima minima for example if you are having one at one peak two at one peak three at one peak infinity at one peak if you are having fine infinite number of maxima and minima then you can't trace the signal first then if you if you are not able to trace the signal means you are not going to represent the signal by any representation not only Fourier series by any representation you can't represent the signal if you are having infinite number of maxima and minima that's why the second important condition in bridgelet conditions is there must be finite number of maxima and minima so uh, if only one minima and one maxima is that is perfectly better so here the third condition of bridgelet is there must be finite number of discontinuities in the signal or function so why because for example practically a signal is discontinued at a little bit at a, at a time slot and it is continued after that one so we can say we are having one discontinuity in that signal so then that is okay we can uh, trace the signal we can estimate the signal how, uh, what what may be the value of that signal at that particular instant but if you are having infinite number of discontinuities so total signal value is going to vanish that means so many samples are going to miss from that signal so that's why if you are having infinite number of discontinuities in the signal so then also you can't represent that signal by any representation like Fourier series so totally we are having three important conditions to get Fourier series representation for any signal or Fourier transform and Laplace transform representation for any signal that means if you want to represent any signal by using Fourier series or if you want to convert any signal into frequency domain by using Fourier transform or Laplace transform the signal need to satisfy this condition that means the signal must be absolutely integrable in that signal there must be finite number of maxima and minima in that signal there must be finite number of discontinuities so then only we can represent in Fourier series or we can take transforms for that signal.